Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install SQL Server 2022 on Windows operating system. In this video I am going to install on Windows 11 operating system. In the upcoming videos we will see how to install SQL Server 2022 on Windows Server as well. Open any browser then go to go to microsoft.com slash en then in SQL Server and hit enter. I will keep this link in the video description. Click on products then click on SQL Server 2022. Scroll down click on try now or just click on this try now both are same then we have to register. Then here we have two options SQL Server on Azure and SQL Server on on premises which means any windows operating system click on download now here we have to provide the information for the free trial okay i am giving james i am giving names first name last name company name you can give whatever you like select the region then provide the number if you have any questions you have to provide here i have added my number and email okay if you want uncheck this box then click on download now see here we have exe download that is 64 bit and sql server on azure so click on this 64 bit before that we have to see the prerequisites click on this system requirements in the new tab before that click on this 64 bit edition see download has been started later we will see before installing hardware requirements we need hard disk space minimum 6 gb memory at least 500 for the express editions for other editions it must be 1 gigabyte but recommended is 1 gb for express and 4 gb for other editions and processors you must have any of these operating systems windows 10 or greater versions server windows server 2016 or greater versions okay see these are the operating systems supported from 2016 to 2022 data centers i will keep this link also in the video description now click on this sql server sci evaluation.exe click on this the third option that is download media select the language and type of package this iso its size is almost one gigabyte and this is the download location if you want to change you have to click on browse then you have to provide the path i am okay with the, my current download location then click on download see download has been started i am pausing this video until this download completes See, download is completed, click on close or click on open folder. Now double click on this ISO file. Then click on this setup.exe.
then click on installation then click on new sql server standard standalone installation or add features to an existing installation so click on the first option see here this evaluation edition expires after 180 days okay this has almost all features as the standard or enterprise edition so click on next check this i accept the license terms and privacy statement click on next click on next operation completed click on next if you want azure extension for sql server you have to check this box otherwise uncheck it and this one click on next here we have to select the sql server instance features sql server engine service must be selected and remaining optional we can add this later also by clicking on same option okay then we have to select the features to an existing installation so no need to worry at present select only the first option that is database engine services replication machine learning and other options we can install by going to this location okay click on next here we have to select the instance configuration if we want named instance you have to click on named instance if we want go for default installation see this is the instance name I am going with the default instance based on requirement you can select provide the instance named instance like r2 sql developer anything is fine so i am going with default one then click on next see it is going to install these three services one sql server agent SQL Server Database Engine and SQL Server Browser and Startup is Manual. So, if you want automatically start SQL Server Agent, you have to select this one. See, SQL Browser Service is disabled. If you want enable, you have to click on Manual or Automatic. This can be changed later after installation also. So, click on Next. See, here we have to provide the authentication mode. Mixed or Windows Authentication later also we can change this option okay now i'm going with windows authentication mode now here we have to add the sql server administrators i'm going to add the current user of my windows machine see this is just laptop and username is after schools if you want to add another user you have to search here i don't have another users if you have users you have to search here and select them cancel click on next see this is the summary of sql server 2022 installation if you want to change any one of them you have to click on back again back and back then we have to run the next next command and then you have to come forward click on next if you are satisfied with all the settings and see here this is the configuration file location click on if you are okay with all these settings, click on install. See, installation has been completed successfully. Click on close. Now next step is we have to connect to the this MSQL server. Tools are see here SQL Server Management Studio and SQL Server CMD BSP BCP or SQL Server PowerShell provider. See here if you go to all applications, there is a folder with SQL Server. See here we have the folder but we don't have SQL Server Management Studio. So we can install by clicking on this SQL Server Management. Once we have clicked on 
this link then this page this page is open then click on this download ssms ssms click on it see download has been started the size is 647 megabytes wait until it is completed see download is completed click on show in folder double click on this exe file see it is going to install sql server management studio with azure data studio at this location if you want to change this default location you have to click on change otherwise click on install we have successfully installed sql server management studio with azure data studio click on close start all programs then go to microsoft sql server expand microsoft sql server tools see here we have sql server management studio 19 and sql server profiler sql server tuning advisor and analysis deployment wizard okay click on this sql server management studio 19 see its so version is 19.2 server name just give local host also then click on connect see i have connected to sql server 2022 let's verify whether this is microsoft sql server 2022 or not click on this new query then run this select at the rate at the rate version select the command and click on this execute see see the output we have installed microsoft sql server 2022 also here also see here databases see we have system databases expand this one see we have these four master model msdb and tempdb these are the default databases comes with ms sql server if you want to create database right click on databases and click on new database or we can create from the query window select create database r2 schools select the command and click on this execute or press f5 that is functional key f5 on your keyboard both are same see command completed successfully but here we are unable to see the database in the databases list right click on click on refresh see we have the database in the drop down also we can see the new database name so in this video we have seen how to download Microsoft SQL Server 2022, then we have seen how to install it, then we have seen how to download and install SQL Server Management Studio 2019 on Windows 11 operating system. The process is same for all Windows operating systems. Then we have seen how to connect to the MS SQL Server 2022 using SQL Server Management Studio. Then we have seen how to check the version and create a database in SQL Server. For more SQL Server videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.